Welcome to San Diego's most popular local morning news. Good morning, San Diego. Welcome back, everybody. With cold and flu season underway, millions of Americans will be getting sick if they haven't already. So now is the time to think about how you can beat the odds and keep you and your family healthy. Dr. Lauren Fetter joins us live to share some tips on how to stay healthy and prevent illness before it begins. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, what are uh, the predictions for flu season this year? Is it expected well, to be pretty big? Yes, and it's right around the corner. It really hasn't quite started yet. Mm -hmm. All right, so, uh, you know, obviously getting the flu shot is advice that we hear every year. What are some other new things that uh, we can do to prevent those sick days from work and just feel overall better? Well, of course, you want to wash your hands frequently. And, Sandra, I actually really recommend using the good old-fashioned bar of soap rather than uh, the antibacterial liquids all the time. Another thing is you want to get plenty of rest. And most people don't realize it, but our digestive tract makes up 70% of our immune system. So we want to keep that tract healthy. You want to eat right, plenty of fruits and vegetables, drink healthy fluids, lots of waters, less of the refined sugar drinks. Um, and also, you know what I've been taking lately? My kids have been sick, a lot of my patients. I've been taking probiotics because they help enhance the immune system, again, going back to digestive health. I've been taking actually a product called Sustinex that you get in the digestive section at the store. And uh, I found that really helpful this week for me. Let me, let me ask you about the bar of soap again. I'm interested yeah. in that. Why, why, why are you using a bar of soap instead of the stuff that comes out of the bottle? Well, you know, either one is fine, but it's really more the antibacterial solutions that I have the problem with. My hunch is it's going to increase the antibiotic and, anti and bacterial resistance that we're already seeing from antibiotics. Mm -hmm. I understand that you also have a, a health a prevention emergency kit to share with us today. Well, yes. Um, as I mentioned to you, um, I've been taking, it's what I do. I kind of practice what I preach. Um, try and get plenty of rest. I've been taking my probiotics like Sustinex. And let's say somebody's starting to get those feelings of coming down with the flu. Flu symptoms are body aches, um, headache, fever, and chills. Um, the homeopathic medicine, it's kind of that long name, hard to pronounce. It's called Oscillococcinum is great to help heal the body. And what's wonderful, it's safe, it's non-toxic, there are no side effects, and it's great for kids from two all the way up to 102. Mm -hmm. What about some of the other over-the-counter products that you hear about, the, the stuff like the, the Airborns and the, and the things that you take right when you feel the symptoms coming on? Right, Airborne, Emergency, these are wonderful products that I use along with the Oscillococcinum and the Sustinex. And, you know, it's not to, let's not forget, eating healthy, fresh foods. Um, actually, broccoli is high in vitamin C, green bell peppers, lemons. And I have a wonderful concoction. It's hot water. You squeeze in fresh lemon. And I like the sweeteners, for example, honey or maple syrup, not the refined sugars. And then we put a dash of cayenne pepper in this little tonic. And it's really yummy going down. It's great for a scratchy throat or congestion. Mm -hmm. Sounds like something that uh, the trainer at the gym recommended for losing, dropping a few pounds, too. Doesn't that help uh, speed your metabolism? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I have one more thing for congestion. Just a good old-fashioned remedy that we get from our grandparents is slicing an onion, if you can believe it. Taking the slices, putting it on a little plate besides the bed is wonderful for congestion in the middle of the night. Really? Well, that yes. doesn't cost a lot. That's a great Not tip. Really. That's Thank a great you. tip. Well, <laughs> good health to you throughout this holiday season. Happy Thanksgiving, uh, doctor, and I appreciate your time this morning and Thank your tips as well. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye.